Um, the Transit Board is proposing um, a tiered structure for fares for students. Um, right now, students ride free without any requirement to show ID or anything. Um, so what we're looking at is um, students under 11 would ride free. We would ask them to come in and get a swipe card. There would be no cost to them just so that we can monitor their use um, and make sure that they are behaving themselves. And then um, kids 11 and older, so 11 to 18, would be a $10 annual pass. And the same thing can come down here to the office and purchase that, or we'll also be doing outreach at schools um, at the beginning of the school year. Um, and then if students don't want to buy the annual pass, if they're just going to ride occasionally, um, we can do a 75 cent fare with showing their student ID. So that would kind of help with uh, making sure all students have access still. And uh, so I guess what was the reasoning behind this, this recommendation? Sure, there's been um, conversation with our, within the transit board for many months about how can we better manage students and um, a student fare option was one of the things that have, has always come up, um, as well as during our um, budget hearing there was a um, concern from some city council members that maybe it's something we should look at and just see what other cities and school districts are doing. Um, and so since it's something we provide, we thought we'd take a look at it. We looked at other cities. Um, Davenport is the only other city in Iowa that offers free rides for students. Um, so we, a $10 fare was much lower than even what most other cities are doing. Um, it ranges from $160 to $200 for an annual pass in other cities in Iowa. Um, so that was one of the things we did for research, looking at different pricing options. And then um, this is also a time for us where we're able to, we, we're increasing our technology on the vehicles. Um, we're improving our software, basically, is what it comes down to. And this is the timing for this is great because we're able to add on that um, component of being able to track the track and swipe card. Um, so if, if kids are misbehaving, we can deactivate their card. We do have a large number of students who ride just to ride um, for even just a very few blocks. And that can be anywhere from a couple kids that might board and jump off two blocks later to a large number of students that will board and um, kind of wreak havoc on the bus and then jump off a couple blocks later when it's clearly a walkable distance. Um, so that's one thing that we have a problem with. Um, and. We're hoping that this would help deter some of that activity. And then we also have um, limited ability when a student does misbehave and violate our code of conduct. Um, we have a very difficult time identifying them. Every person that boards our bus will either pay a fare or swipe some kind of card. Um, and so that'll allow us to see which students are actually banned. So if a student has bad behavior, we can shut their card off. And when they try to swipe their card to board, they it'll say declined. And so that's, that gives us more ability to, to actually effectively ban students who have poor behavior.